What's going guys, Philip here, and today I'm going to show you how to enable and use NVIDIA Shadowplane. So it's uh, rather simple, and I'm going to keep this video rather basic. So what you want to do is to open your NVIDIA GeForce experience, and then you'll want to go up to the symbol right here, and install the in-game overlay if you haven't already. Once it's installed, simply open it. And the shortcut is for me Alt Z. So here you have Instant Replay, which is Shadow Play, basically. And what Shadow Play does is that it allows you to record or save whatever happened in the past X number of minutes. You want to turn this on by just clicking here and turn on it will save for you. Mine is already turned on, that's why I have turn off option right here. And then you can choose the settings here. This will allow you to change the replay length. So I have mine set to 10 minutes and you can also see the size of this file. So it's uh, roughly four gigabytes and you can choose whatever you want here. Then you can also select the quality from low, medium, high to custom. And you have the resolution where you can choose if you want the in-game one or a custom one. And the frame rate here as well, with also the bitrate down here. And there are some more things you can change. So if you go to the cogwheel here, or settings, you can choose the HUD layout, so what you see and where you see it. You can change the keyboard shortcuts if you want to. So my overlay is set to Alt Z and my recording is set to Alt F10 for the last 10 minutes. And when I record, I use Alt F9. And then you can go into recordings, which is where you choose where to store your recorded files. And then we have audio. Here you can choose the volume of the system sounds, the microphone source, volume and boost. And you can also choose audio tracks if you want a single one or separate audio tracks, meaning that your microphone and your system sounds have a different audio track, which makes it easier when you want to edit it. And then you also have the video capture once again, where you can change the length, etc. So yeah, there you have it. As I said, I wanted to keep it rather basic for you. So feel free to uh, look around and try different settings and see what fits you the best. And uh, yeah, I hope this video helped you out. If you have any further questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I wish you fun as a day, my dudes, and I'll see you next time.